Democrats could be. Democrats today are dealing with the fallout from a medical incident that forced Hillary Clinton to leave a September 11th commemoration ceremony at Grand Zero here in Gotham City early yesterday. Hours after video surfaced on social media, which appeared to show Clinton stumbling as she was helped into a black van, her campaign released a statement saying Clinton had been diagnosed with pneumonia on Friday, had gotten dehydrated at the event and a little bit overheated. Her campaign aides were all over TV today explaining and insisting. They say Clinton has no other illnesses besides the pneumonia. And they acknowledge, though, that the campaign should not have kept the media in the dark. Well, I think that in retrospect, we could have handled it better in terms of uh, providing more information more quickly. And it is our intention that uh, in the next couple of days, we're going to be releasing additional medical information about Hillary Clinton. There's no other uh, undisclosed condition. Uh, it, it, the pneumonia is the extent of it. This was the Hillary Clinton that as Secretary of State logged all those miles on behalf of representing us abroad. This is somebody whose all impulse and instinct is always to press forward. That was her instinct on Friday, even after she was told she has pneumonia. That's the type of president she will be. She she will always be looking to squeeze more into a day, to do more, uh, and to push ahead. That's just who she is. It's how she's wired. New today, this thing. Several super prominent members of Clinton's team refused to answer in live television interviews and press conferences when they were pressed on whether they were even the loop in the loop about her pneumonia diagnosis. Did you know on Friday, Robbie, that she was ill? Did you know that she had the diagnosis of pneumonia? And if so, what did you advise her to do? Well, uh, she uh, uh, obviously saw the doctor on Friday, uh, got the, the diagnosis of pneumonia, and in consultation with her doctor, she decided to power through that. Did you know uh, she about didn't, it? She didn't. I, I'm, I'm not going to, I'm not going to, you know, get into details about who knew her medical information. Yeah, I'm, I'm just going to say the first time that I talked to Hillary about this was Sunday, so I'll just say it like that. I don't want to get into the, the character of, of, uh, of communications, but I reached out to her as soon as the incident happened. On Sunday, and we and we had a uh, a good dialogue there. But other than that, that was the first time we talked about this. Clinton, as we heard from Brian Fallon, her spokesman, is expected to release additional medical records later this week, and to get back on the trail. So, John, what are the implications of this Clinton health story and the way the Clinton campaign has handled it? Well, I want to make a couple of really obvious points. The first is that. How long, well, how important this story is depends on what Hillary Clinton's actual health situation is. And we have a, a, an account of what it is. I, I, I have had pneumonia, walking pneumonia, and have had the similar thing happen to me. If that, if that is all this is, this story will subside and not be of any real consequence. But that is an open question. The second thing is that the, it seems to me that if what the one thing that comes out of this is that the pressure builds for both of them to be more transparent about their health, that will be a good thing because the country deserves to know more about two people of this age in terms of what their physical condition is if they're about to be president of the United States. We're now on track to have both campaigns release more information, which, as you said, is good. Uh, let's see what it says. I doubt either of them will have anything disqualifying in, their, in their background. I agree. Uh, the Clinton campaign has once again hurt itself with uh, the press as the watch guards of the public interest in terms of their being uh, 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 transparent. Uh, the Trump campaign is not transparent about many things either. But I do believe, I do believe that this has put her... Uh, it is exposed to the extent to which she is somewhat isolated from her team. Yeah. Not a surprise to either of us. No, no. But her campaign manager seemed to be telling Kate Snow he didn't know she had pneumonia. Not a total right. surprise. She's a very private person. But I worry if she's elected president that once again she will, on a regular basis, put her own desire for privacy, human, understand that on a human level, right. and understand, but, but on a professional level, if you want to run for president, you want to be president, Unfortunately, you have to give up a little bit of privacy. Well, look, the reality, though, is this, you know, we interviewed Kellyanne Conway on Morning Joe this morning, and, and you asked her uh, who the doctor was that had conducted Trump's physical, and she didn't know the answer to that either. So they're sort of similar in this yeah. regard, both in terms of their claiming kind of exceptional special, special status in terms of how they deal with the press and how they deal, I think, with their senior teams. I'll say one more potential implication. She's missing two of the last, you know, whatever it is, 60 days of the campaign. If she continues to get sick, and sometimes it's hard to shake this, off the trail, not good. But I'm, I'm going to add one more thing, which is just, just for anybody who says this isn't an important issue, just in terms of the political implications, Don Fowler, former DNC chair, is now calling for an HRC, a Hillary Clinton contingency plan. You know, th there are some Democrats who are spooked about this. Yeah. Democrats, oh, not, just not just Republicans without trying to doubt. capitalize here. There are Democrats who are spooked. Okay.